Step two, you feel pain and react to the sensation. Your brain interprets the signal and you react viscerally and emotionally. When your spinal cord sent impulses down to the motor neurons, it also sent signals up ascending pathways towards your brain. While painful stimuli are detected by nerves, this information doesn't mean anything emotionally until it reaches the brain and nociception occurs. Messages from the dorsal horn of the spine are relayed up the spinal cord through the spinal thalamic tract. The reticular formation is one of the first brain structures that receives the message from the noceptors. The activation of the reticular formation contributes to the reactions of awakeness and alertness associated with pain. The neurons of this structure can also alter your heart rate, arterial blood pressure, respiration, and other vital functions. By virtue of its significance to our health, Pain automatically and involuntarily attracts attention. It cuts through the noise. These pain-related activations are thought to happen in the somatosensory cortex, the thalamus, and insula as well. The thalamus serves as the major relay station for sensory information to the cerebral cortex. The thalamic nuclei relay signals to the somatosensory cortex and then to various integrated cortical and subcortical regions, collectively known as the pain neuromatrix. This includes the amygdala, hypothalamus, periadductal gray, basal ganglia, insula, and anterior cingulate. The lateral system, including the somatosensory cortex and the sensory association areas, play a role in contextualizing pain, recognizing it, and remembering past pain, as well as discriminating the various properties of pain, like location and intensity. The structures in the medial parts of the brain impact emotional and affective response to pain, the suffering. From the thalamus, projections to the anterior cingulate cortex connect to the prefrontal cortex and subcortical structures like the amygdala transmitting and encoding pain. The amygdala is an important nucleus for fear and can trigger immediate and irrational emotional reactions, like the curse words that might have slipped out of your mouth when you stepped on the Lego. Research also suggests it functions as an on-off switch for pain aversion.